Greetings everyone, what is up? Welcome back to Top Day Arcade. My name is Steve and we're back in the apartment. While my wife is at work and I have the day off, why the hell, why not play some arcade machines? It's an early morning and let's just do it. It's, uh, I'm going to be reviewing Power Stone 2. Now I did not do Power Stone 1 because it's pretty much the same game and 2 has uh, more features, more levels, better mechanics, more characters. Uh, it was released in April 2000 on the Sega Naomi in the arcades and the Dreamcast. It is a top-down, up to four-player shooter and fighter, I should say, fighter, similar to Spawn in the Demon's Hand, which I, re if you look at my archives, I reviewed that last year. And um, it also was ported to the PSP in 06, and um, it's um, made by Capcom, which I'm, I'm happy for, because the last review if you saw my video, was uh, Cannon Spike, which I have to admit I was a little un underwhelmed, but this one's actually made by Capcom, so I'm very excited. It looks to already have a story when I turned it on, so let's jump right into it. Let's go in shoulder cannon mode. Let's check out Power Stone 2. Let's play the fighter and see how it is. All right, so we've all uh, been coined up now, and let's play some Power Stone 2. For your freedom, escape from the castle. So there's a good amount of characters to choose from. Oh, I thought that said Wu Tang. Uh, we'll play Falcon. Or as Falcon. This is kind of cool. You get to get to the level. Uh, let's try this Japanese uh, dojo or Japanese uh, setting. So the story apparently is. Alright, so what so that's dash. So there's punch, jump, like super. And that's it. So there's three buttons. Yeah, so the story is uh, we've all been sent to this, like this, on this island. We have to fight to get out or something. I don't know. That's cool, you have to progress or you're gonna die. You know what's interesting? Doesn't this look like an early version of Smash or Super Smash Brothers? It's kind of like an early Smash. Really? Oh shit, I'm on a skateboard. No! Oh, and I'm dead. I guess. What happened? Am I dead? Yeah, oh, I come back. Yeah, it's like almost like a very early version of Smash. A little different, but similar. That's cool. We have to race to the top and then fight. Yeah, it's very, very cool. So the one button is grab, the one is jump, and then uh, and there's there's different game modes. So my understanding is um, my understanding is there's like one on one where you just go. There is this where two survive, like the story mode. So there is variety. So I have one stone, or like a... Yeah, if you guys are a fan of uh, Smash Brothers, I think you guys would really like this. Kick. 
This gameplay is shit, by the way. I'm actually just looking around and just seeing the similarities, but okay, let's uh, let's get serious here. Oh, good, she has a Gatling gun. Good. Hurry, what though? Shit. Oh. Oh, that's kind of cool. I got her. Oh, that's cool. If no one progresses, it's like a one hit. Oh, that's cool. So out of four players, the two progress. Uh, let's try this one. You are the champion. Keep it up. That's cool. You get the different good gameplay or game uh, uh, replay because you can choose different paths. So it seems like I have one gem or one power stone. Oh, cool! I get to jump in, uh... Very cool, I get to jump in, uh... This cannon. Start from the beginning? Oh, I do. Fight for your freedom. Escape from the castle. You are the champion. Oh, I have to start at the beginning. Okay, fair enough. Or the level, of course. So that create. You know what's good about that? The challenge. Number one, you can't just get through the game faster. Number two, there's different ways you can go. So there is better. Um, that's smart. I like that. So later, ah, oh, shit. And my ass kick. And when he gets caught in his crossfire, he's gonna get slow. Yeah, we got these guys in a crossfire now. We 
got him. We're gonna kill this guy too. Gunrock's dead. Got him. Yeah, so we win. We didn't even have to go to the next level because it's two of us. Sweet. Yeah, really cool. You get to, uh, first of all, you get different parts of the level. Like, obviously, we beat them quick. Yeah, so it's really cool. I think this is maybe a boss. Uh, yeah. I know we have to aim for its head, but I think it will fall if I break it. Or not. There we go. Where the hell am I? There we go. Oh, I get it. Bubbles. Oh, I can I can just jump. That bomb's gonna blow his leg. Oh, I'm getting murdered here. Oh, shit. Oh, he killed me, dick. That's cool. That's really cool. Now, let's see if we can beat the boss. Hey, don't go soft now. Your journey has only just begun. One leg broken. Stupid. And you might as well just, uh, yeah, do that. You know what I don't understand? I don't know how to activate the power. Shit. No, I don't want to die. I'm going to beat this guy. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, look at the... Let's see if we can quickly beat him here. Stupid. I had him, but then my partner here is doing shit. Alright, let's go. Yes! Shoot the fucking guy. Ah, 
She's been eating, not me. I'm gonna get him. Got him. Okay, let's see what happens after this and we'll wrap the video up. Well. All right, so I think you guys have seen enough. It's actually really cool. This is another game I made one to uh, revisit. Again, maybe with a friend. Uh, or family member, whoever. So let me give my final thoughts, and I'll be back. Well, everyone, that was Power Stone 2 playing it on the Sega Naomi. What a cool game. You know, during the video, I think I said that it's, um, it's, you know, Smash took a lot of the game elements, but I'm wrong. Smash came out a year before, uh, in, 90, in 99, on the N64. So it's very similar. If anyone out there is watching this, and you're a fan of Super Smash Brothers, this has a lot of very similar elements and it's really fun. Actually, this is one of the games I want to go back in and actually play. It shouldn't take too long either. Again, another one I want to play with a family or friend um, just to get through the, uh, the stage together. But really, really cool game. I'll play it again. Cool graphics, fun game mechanics. Again, more replay value because you can choose a lot of characters and you also can uh, have different... Um, it's deeper because you have different paths to go to get to the both bosses and uh, different levels but uh, what do you guys think uh, leave in the comments below if you have any comments suggestions uh any help you need let me know subscribe to any of my social media you see in the comments subscribe to top tier on youtube if you guys like the content i'm putting out uh please consider just subscribing new content coming out every week hopefully something a little more exciting than just gameplay but again as promised i'm trying my best especially during COVID, to come up with content to uh, maybe alleviate any boredom or anything you guys have at home. Hope you and your family are safe during this time, and thank you again for checking out Top Tier. Peace. Hadouken!